Hi, my name is Emily, and I'm an interpreter at Icelandic State Park. And for today's Campfire Series video, I'm going to be talking about what Pemina County was like between 65 and 90 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Everything that we know about the county from that time comes from the Pierre Formation, or Pierre Shale, which can be found within the Pemina Gorge. The Pierre Shale is a layer of rock which was formed from clay and silt sediments from the bottom of a Cretaceous sea which was pressed for millions and millions of years and turned into rock, preserving all of the remains of things that lived and died within this sea as fossils. The Pierre Formation is roughly 72 to 83 million years old and is the most prosperous formation for finding fossils within the Pemina Gorge. Additionally, underneath the Pierre Shale are two other formations, known as the Niobrara Formation, which is believed to be 83 to 87 million years old, and the Carlisle Formation, which is estimated between 89 and 93 million years old. Both of these are also visible within the Pemina Gorge and have yielded some fossils, but don't have nearly as many fossils as the Pierre Formation. This sea is known as the Western Interior Seaway. It was a warm, shallow sea which formed around 90 million years ago and stretched all the way from the Arctic Ocean up in the north to the Gulf of Mexico down in the south, cutting North America in half. And at its widest point, it stretched all the way from the Rocky Mountains in the west to the Appalachian Mountains in the east. Towards the end of the Cretaceous period, this sea was split in half by a land bridge which formed over parts of modern-day North Dakota and South Dakota. But what is modern-day Pemina County remained underwater the entire time, which means that all of the fossils that we find within the county are of marine life. Things such as corals and shrimp and squid and sea stars and many other invertebrates which can be found in our modern seas today. Additionally, a lot of scales and teeth from larger fish and sharks can also be found. The coolest fossils I think that we can find are of larger animals, things such as Hesperornis, which was a flightless bird that lived at this time and swam in that sea in order to get its food. Another animal that can be found in this formation is called an Archelon, which is a giant soft-shelled turtle that's about the size of a car. There was also Xyphactinus, which was a 15-foot-long predatory fish, as well as other marine reptiles, like Mosasaurs and Plesiosaurs, like Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. In July of 2015, mere feet away from the main excavation site at the Pemina Gorge, a team of paleontologists and local volunteers found part of the jaw and pieces of the skull of a Mosasaur and they were able to find one of the most important bones that is needed to identify what species of mosasaur it is. This little bone, which is found at the back of the skull, is called the right quadrate. Since we don't know what mosasaurs looked like, we can't tell what different species were based on how they looked. Instead, paleontologists have to look at different bones that are different between each species to tell what type of mosasaur it is. For the one that was found, they were not able to find any matching quadrates, any matching little bones with the one they found and any of the other mosasaurs that they knew of, which means it might be a new species of mosasaur from right here in Pemina County. Another exciting find from the area is that of a Tuthotethis longa, or giant squid specimen, estimated to be about 80 million years old. From this creature, paleontologists were able to find a nearly six foot long spine-like structure called a gladius or pen, which is what gave the head of the squid its shape. These are really, really hard to find because they are not made out of bone. Instead, they're made out of the same material as shells, so they're really, really fragile, and they usually don't survive the fossilization process, much less keeping the full six-foot length. So, based on the proportions of modern-day giant squid, if our 
Tuthotethis longa had a six foot long gladius, then that means that the actual animal itself was probably around 15 feet long, about the size of a pickup, which is amazing. Thank you for watching this video in the Campfire Series brought to you by the North Dakota State Parks and Rec Department. Please remember that collecting any plants, animals, rocks, or fossils from any state or national park is prohibited. We really hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd be happy to answer. You can also view the Pierre Formation Fossil Dig Site at the Pemina Gorge Recreation Area and view some of the fossils on display at the Icelandic State Park Heritage Center. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for joining us. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to catch the Campfire series all summer long, brought to you from North Dakota State Parks and Recreation. See you next time.